Hey there guys, what's up? My name is Gail. I am the small town picker here on YouTube. Thank you for clicking on my video. This video is going to be a series of vlogs for my reselling. I am in my last month of being a full-time employee in the corporate world. October 1st is my last day of employment. After that, I will be doing reselling full time. So if you're interested in my journey, don't forget to subscribe. What I'm going to do is kind of show you a little bit around my office. First of all, let's talk a little bit about my goal. So for the month of September, in addition to my full time job, I will be working part time reselling as I always have, but I'm kicking it up a notch because what I need to do is make some money. So the idea is I'm gonna take my income that I make, any side hustles. Right now I have Airbnb, I do reselling, and also there's YouTube. So all of my income that I make in September doing any of these side hustles, I will set aside and that will be the income that I will use to pay my October bills because October is when I'll no longer get money from the corporate check. My goal is to pay my bills with what I make, not dip into my savings the only way I'm going to know if I'm going to be able to do this full time. I do not expect for my September income to pay for my October bills, at least not fully, because I am still doing this in the month of September part time. I'm going to list five items a day at least on eBay to revise five listings and I'm also going to end and sell similar at least five items that are old in my system. That's going to trigger the algorithm. I haven't been listing consistently, so I need to do that so I can start getting some sales on eBay. Let me kind of show you around my office. Okay, I have a whiteboard, so I'm going to start listing what my listings are. This is the countdown to the number of working days that I have left. This is my last day at work. Got my work laptop and my other laptop. So this part's a little bit of a mess, but here is the cat station. This is also my photo station. Um, down here is a tote of items that I have listed. When that's full, this will go into my garage where my inventory is, and this is a tote of items that I want to list. I also need to list that. So only this is what needs to be listed. Everything else is in the garage. I'm not gonna bring anything in here that needs to be listed. This is my shipping supplies. I had this over here. I've since put a TV there. Um, I This kind of always gets cluttered, and I need to fix it, but I don't... Um, need to get over in this corner very often. This is my tissue paper and larger poly bags. Here's my tape and such. And then I just bought these, so I'm gonna put those away. Yesterday I did like nine listings. Five of them I went ahead and posted. Four I put in draft, which I released this morning. So I technically have to do one more listing today. So I'm gonna get to doing that. I obviously am going to try to list more. Okay, let's get to it. What I'm showing you here is my normal process. First, I take photos of all the items that I actually plan to list. Be sure to take detailed photos of everything that you can. Think of it as if you were the buyer and you wanted to know everything you could possibly know about the item. Take all angles. While I have the camera out, I will put the item on the scale with its packaging and take a picture of that item and the weight so I'll know how much to charge for shipping. Okay, so some people work off of their photos to do the listing. I like to have the item in front of me. I'll just put the specifics in eBay, find an item that has sold before, look up the comps, do a sell similar, and create a draft and fill out all the information to do the listing. And the only thing I need to do is add the photos when I'm done with all of that. And usually I do it through the app. I use this app to edit my photos. It makes them much brighter. I select one item in a filter called Lights Out. It applies that to that image and then it gives me an option to do a batch process. So what I'm doing here is just choosing all the photos that I want to edit and apply the filter to. And then once it processes it, then it gives me an option to add it to my camera roll. And I end up with two sets. One is the old photo and one is the new. So just so I don't have duplicates, I go back and I choose the old ones, which you can see are kind of darker. And I will keep the new ones. And you can see just by looking at the screen how much brighter and better looking they are. So because I don't upload my photos to my computer, I actually go to the eBay app and I just choose the items that I want to add to the drafts that I had. And you can see here, I'm just editing some of the description. So I just kind of glance through it, make sure that I'm doing the right promotion rate, 
all of that information and I'm going into each one of these listings and doing that. In this case, I'm clicking save as draft when I'm done rather than list, but you could list directly from there. I'm not doing it because I want to have a draft bank items in there that I can hit list on any day when I don't have the ability to do any actual time listing. It's not a lot of profit items, but I listed these shoes. These are Worthington. Um, I listed these. I'm only selling these for like $10 or size eight and a half, but it's because the strap here is um, needs to be reattached. And um, I had all these rocket books that I got on clearance at Goodwill. And I'm, no, no, I got them at Walmart. What am I talking about? So anyway, these are um, all listed. Um, they're multi-quantity, so that's good. I had some dark blue, some black, and some teal blue, which actually this color right here is my favorite. Well, guys, uh, I know this video is probably kind of short, but I think that's kind of how most of the days are going to be a little bit. And now that I've got them listed, I'm going to go ahead and put them in this tote down here. And that tote is full, so I'm going to take it to the garage. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch me because, hey, I'm going to be full time. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. I'm nervous. All that stuff. Anyway, if you want to support my channel, you can click on the subscribe icon here. You can also click here to see my vlog videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.